This place is so beautiful. You have said that we all this your talks again, Abby. Allow me to start you. <laughs> Allow me to see this humble mm -hmm. apartment of yours. Wow, you guys are living the dream. Um, it's no, yeah. I'm still trying to get things together, yeah. Mm -hmm. So you guys live together? Mm, not really. I have my own small place here, yeah? but I spend most of my time here. <laughs> In such a short time, your lives have changed. But we've been begging you to come here like forever. You know now. I thought my father was going to survive his sickness. I'm so sorry about your father. He still died. Thing my mom and I went through to keep him alive. I can imagine. What can I get for you to drink? Thanks for asking. Mm. Anything I'm starving. Okay, so I'm gonna get the juice while I quickly prepare something for it. Yeah? Okay. Hello. Home.
go. Thank you. You're welcome. Mm -hmm. I was actually at the market when a lawyer called. Speaking of Nonya, where is she? Huh? Where is she? My baby girl. <sighs> Talk of the devil. <laughs> God, you're welcome. Thank you. You've not offered her something to eat or something. I'm making her food already, yeah. Lulu of life. <laughs> Lulu, make yourself comfortable, okay? I'm already comfortable. <laughs> okay, girls, let me just quickly freshen up, okay? I will join you girls soon, okay? Make yourself comfortable, Lulu. <laughs> um, uh, that reminds me, Sheila. Hmm. Sam's friend wants to see you. Who? Engineer Kola, of course. What does he want to see me for again? Really? He got you that mouth-watering job, remember? Mm, it's not like he was free. I paid my dues already, so what does he want to see me for again? Well, I don't know. When you get there, you ask him. Another dollar. Girl, let me freshen up. I'll join you girls soon, okay? Have fun. Lulu, it's so good to have you here. I'm happy I'm here. <laughs> Wow. Yes, mommy, I've arrived safely. Eh? Huh? Send your money how? What of the money I just left for you? I left barely 24 hours. Are you serious? Mommy, I beg. You people need to manage the money I left behind. I will soon get a job, don't worry. Okay, my regards to everyone. I've arrived safely, yes. Okay. Please don't come asking me for money now. I beg you. Please. Bye. Sheila. Hmm? I heard Noe talking about a mouth watering job. Is that true? Mm, not really. It's just an NGO job. Ironically, I'm just a um, contract staff, which means I'm only hanging there because of the pay. How much? Yeah, about 300k. Jesus! 300k! 300k! Why are you screaming? That's huge, oh. Can you girls fix me? You should talk to Nonye. It's Nonye who knows someone who knows someone who knows someone. You know, you know how these things are now, yeah. <sighs> Noye should help me, oh. Please, oh. Noye has to help me. Hey, man. Hey. What's going on? How are you, Lulu? <laughs> listen, listen, listen. Sheila was just telling me how you got her a job because you know someone that knows someone that knows someone that knows someone. I beg. I want to pitch. <laughs> we are going out tonight. And just maybe when we get there, you get to meet somebody that knows somebody that knows somebody. <laughs> Then you can teach. And I'll see you later, okay? You guys just get ready. Sheila. Yeah. Get ready. Yeah, sure. Alright. Alright. What is it? What are you wearing like this? Oh, but I thought you said we were going to meet some important people. Exactly. I did not say we are going to church. Ah, and this is all I have, oh. Hmm? These are the things I brought. You know, as a teacher, corporate is our thing. Hmm. I didn't know that there's a way to dress when you're going to church and a way to dress when you're going to meet new people. Shall we? Lulu Bonte, what in heaven's name are you putting on? I don't get to. Are we not meeting important people? My 
my point is exactly. <laughs> to be honest, you can't wear this. Lulu, don't you have something nice? You know, something sexy. Not so skimpy though, but something like what we're wearing. This is all I have, oh. And you expect to meet people that will change your life wearing this at night. Oh, but what is wrong with this? Everything is wrong with it. Can't you see? Follow me. I'm beginning to think that this if I remove contest for election, all the ladies in this town will vote for you. Hey, 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 Ever since she got that job, nobody does that. Why would she get the job and avoid you all of a sudden? Who does that? It's crazy, man. Are you sure you've been giving her all the tender loving and all ah, the... You don't trust love. me again. <laughs> Boys, hey. I'm sorry, I have to run. What? My manager just called from the hotel. My attention is needed. I know. You know I, don't, I don't know why people have managed that they pay heavily. It's crazy. A manager calls at a time like this. I don't, why do you to, pay that for? To tell you the truth, it really surprises me because it shows incompetence. Oh. Well, it is what it is. I have to go and attend to it myself. Because, well, I'll, I'll take care of this. I, I will. I should take care of it because it's a mess up. I mean, I should have been here with my mates, having fun. But now I have to cut it short. All right? What about Noye? I thought you were well, expecting Yes. But well, let her come and wait. At least it serves her right. This will serve as a punishment to her. Each time we invite them out, she ends up keeping us waiting like this. It's not done. We're men. Yeah, that's right. That's right. <laughs> well, it's fine. No problem. Yeah, I'll see you. Right? I'll see you. All right. Little man. Thank you. Stay safe. I was yeah. about to say stay safe. Yeah. 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 I'll see you later. <laughs> You're the bad boy. You uh, so cold this day now. Hold on. Yeah. I'll call her later. Say, woman, did I make the pump out there? Call her. I'll call her and see her. Check me out. Ma. Oh, boy. <laughs> she got the, she the got the noise touch. The noise touch. Girl, you look beautiful. Thank you, thank you. You look thank amazing, Lolo. You. you look Tell amazing me. for this transformation. You should see the amount of push is packed for me. <laughs> yeah. How does she look? Oh my god. Amazing. I'm sure that works. She looks so sweet. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay, so guys, um, you're putting on shoes now, so like, let's go, let's go. Okay. I don't want to hear say I couldn't wait. Let's go. I know, right? Where's your bag? In the living room. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right, let's go. Oh, that's your party. Why did you call to tell me he was leaving? He had to ask me to come. Yeah, it's not bad. He was here, not on set. He got a call from the hotel. Why did he wait there? How many minutes did he wait? He didn't even call me. He's not even taking his own calls. Sam can be just so annoying. You can think we should just get sick. Your heart is busy. You're right. The thing is, if I test him, it will take him forever to answer. Sam, so just one thing I hate about him. You see, you're telling me about uh, the building, you know? Yeah. Oh, Lolo. <laughs> beautiful name. Has anyone ever told you you're beautiful? <laughs> Wow, you smell nice. Thank you. Come on, stop acting like a child. I want to feel you. With all due respect, you're harassing me, sir. Trust me. You need me more than I need you. Mm -hmm. Did you just touch my butt? Come on, mommy. I want to rest my head on this piece. Please stop it! With all due respect! Excuse me! Listen, the next time you try this on me, you will regret it! How dare you! What? Uh -uh. 
Oh my god! Kola, I'm so sorry. Oh my goodness. What's the meaning of this? I'm so sorry. Kola. Kola. Kola, see. Can you imagine? No, yeah, it's okay. No, it's not. Didn't you see what happened there? She was quite sure for me. Didn't you both see him harassing me? Oh, shut up. Shut the hell up. What harassment? Do you know who that guy is? See, Lulu, if anything happens to my hustle, if anything happens to my hustle, you'll be gone. Rubbish. Uh-uh. Nonsense. You shouldn't have. So I should have allowed him to molest me, Abby. He was just trying to know you. Really? Maybe I should have allowed him to rape me. <sighs> Sheila, I'm not that type of girl. What he was doing. Babe, this one is quite expensive. I think I prefer the other one. Can you see? But what is it with all these bone straight hairs? Just when you try to follow a trend, another one shows up. I just know I can barely keep up. This one will finish my salary, so there's no way I'm going there. Is that not why you're supposed to be smart? Yet you keep running away from Kola. Why do you think I'm still with Sam? Hey, no, yeah? It's because you've not seen his third leg, that's why you're here talking, no? Mm. <laughs> I cannot keep myself. It's not everything that should enter a woman. That one will just shit somebody's woman. <laughs> <laughs> is, is it that big? Is it that big? Like... I've told you I haven't gotten a job yet. Huh? Once I do, I will keep. I will assist you. Please manage the little you have for now. Hmm? Okay, I'll call you guys later. Bye. <sighs> is it not my family? The things. Once you enter the city, there's a job waiting for you. You guys need to help me. I need a job ASAP. What is it? Why are you looking at me like that? When you were slapping Collar yesterday, didn't he occur to you he's supposed to be your meal ticket? But I apologize to him. And it wasn't like I wronged him. No, no, you wronged him. You slapped him and you poured a drink on him. You wronged him. Because he was harassing me. Really? A man complimented you. Said he likes to feel your skin on his skin. Please, how is that harassment? Are you not a girl? How do you think we got our jobs? How? You see this job you need so much. You have the key in your hand. Do the needful, else let me be. I can never do that, God forbid. God forbid, yet you want to change your story. Weren't you the one asking me how I got the job with the NGO? Well, that man you slapped and poured a drink on got me the job with just a phone call. At what cost? That pervert I saw out there will not do that for free. So tell me. Did you have to sleep with him before getting that mouth watering job? Because I haven't even asked him for a favor and he wants to sleep with me. Tell me. You need a job, don't you? Do I need to sell myself for one? 
How do you even sleep at night? Please do not judge me. I'm not judging you. I'm just asking a question. You will find the answers when you have checked the whole of this town. Then you will realize that it's better to cry in a Benz than celebrate in a tricycle. I'd rather celebrate in a tricycle than cry in a Benz. Hmm. I just hope you can keep up with this. Sheila! Lulu! <laughs> How are you doing? Very well, and you? I'm fine. You look nice. Thank you. It's Noya in? Yes, yes. Where are you going? Hey, my dear, I'm off to go and hunt for a job. I can't keep sitting at home expecting a job to come to me, and I'm tired of all these online applications. Well, I wish you well, and I hope the city be nice to you. Thank you. All right, see you later. Have a good day. Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye. Where have you been? I'm sorry I'm late. I had to go home and change. Yeah, and um, Lulu, I just saw her leaving. Leaving to where? <laughs> she said she's going to hunt for a job. That girl, she must be so daft. <sighs> Let me have the file. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Oh, she's calling. Yeah, hi. Sometimes you feel the pressure to belong in a world where the new good is all shades of wrong. See, it may not be easy. Sometimes it keeps you feeling dizzy. When some people can do anything to keep up with the affair. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Uh, 
I'm, I'm, I'm really sorry about this. Uh, I'll, I'll take care of it, please. Sorry. My friend, what, what, what's the meaning of this? I am very sorry, sir. No, what are you sorry about? I am sorry, sir. Are we not supposed to have two security people here? Sir, I, Eric is supposed to be there, but because Jude is not feeling fine, so I asked Eric so to be there. So if we short of stars, why didn't you advertise for it? Sir, I'm actually working on You're it. You're working on it? How long will it take you to put an advert there? I am very sorry, sir. Stop telling me sorry I'm doing the job that I pay you for. Go get the gate for me. I need to drive out now. Stupid. Eric! You have no right to shout on him. You asked him to go get a parcel that I asked you to get. No even whether he's alone at the gate. I'll treat your matter when I come back. Go back, no problem. Okay, sir. Thank you, sir. I'm going to... You guys get the gate for me now. Sir? Let nobody harass you, okay? You okay. did not do anything wrong. Okay, sir. I'll take care of this when I get back. Okay, sir. Listen, let me warn you. Let this be the last time this form of laxity will ever come from you again. Will you shut up, my friend? Sorry, sir. Let me not repeat myself a bit again. Be guided. Sorry, sir. Non entity. Hello, sir. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. I'm here for the job vacancy. I met you a few hours ago. Oh, 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 oh. You are the lady who met on the road. Yes. Sorry, one minute. I came at a good time, sir. Yes, so you came for the job vacancy. Yes. Wow, good, good. Uh, sorry, one minute. Mr. Eric? Sir? Come here. One minute. Sir. Who's that lady and what does she want? Oh, she came to apply for a job. Really? Yes, sir. Send her to me. Okay, sir. Uh, um, sister, please, uh, uh, my uncle wants to see you. Okay. Good afternoon, sir. Good afternoon. Um, how may I be of help to you, young lady? I saw your vacancy for security personnel. You want to apply for it? Yes, sir. Did you read it very well? I did, sir. It's for security personnel that we're looking for. Yeah, I know. Can I see your CV? Sure. Is this yours? Yes, it is, sir. Come with me.
Quite an impressive CV you've got here. Thank you. A degree in hotel management and catering. Please forgive me to ask, why go for a post as low as the security personnel? Like I said, I only got into the city a few weeks ago and um, I'm still trying to find my footing. However, if there are other vacancies, um, I wouldn't mind to fill in the spots up. Unfortunately, um, Miss Lulu, uh, we don't have vacancies in any other department of our establishment. But if this is what you actually want to do, I have no option than to let you start in Or however, when would you want to start? As soon as possible, sir. Very well then. I will speak to the manager and he will do the needful. Miss Lulu, <sighs> congratulations and welcome again. Thank you, sir. Please Thank call you. me, sir. Okay. Thank you. Thank Good. you. Eric! Eric! Sir! Come. You're welcome once again. Thank you. Sir. Eric. Sir. This lady here is our new staff. Oh, you're welcome. Yes. So she'll be working with us as our new security personnel. Wow. Okay. So do well to educate her on the do's and don'ts of this company. It's all right, sir. Okay. I will. Yes. Yeah, so, Miss Lulu, you're welcome. Thank you, sir. Congratulations once again. So, see me in my office. Excuse me? <laughs> For your appointment letter, of course. Oh, okay, sir. Thank you. You can take a day off and start the next. All right? No, sir. I, I, I will start right away. <sighs> Seriously? Yes, sir. <laughs> then in that case, Eric. Sir. Like I said, Educate her on the things she needs to know, okay? Okay, sir. And show her the necessary things. Then when you're done, bring her to my office. Consider it done, sir. All right. Wow. Miss Lulu, over here. Thank you very you're much. You're welcome. <laughs> you're welcome to exclusive series. You take his call. Do you realize he's your cousin? Do you realize he's my cousin when you're sleeping with the both of us? Aram, don't insult me. I am not trying to insult you. But what are you thinking sleeping with my cousin and I? Why are you doing it? What do you stand to gain? I know you. I want you to answer me with honesty. Are you truly in love with me or you're doing this for the contract? Oh, please say something, Noye. Yeah. Like a treadmill, you think you're moving, but you're really not 
Welcome. Welcome. Favor. Hmm? See this new lady. She too they do eye service. Mm. Honestly. But she's adding color to the job. And she's so friendly. She's adding color. Mm -hmm. Following everybody. Up and down. Is that her job? She wants to do her job and yes. do her job. <laughs> Hello, Good day, sir. Welcome, sir. Thank you. You're welcome to Exclusive Serene. Thank you. Yes, sir. Please have a reservation here. Okay, name please. Prince Douglas. Thank you. Um, yes, you can too. Sir, enjoy your stay. Oh, thank you You're so welcome. much. You're welcome, sir. Sir, may I help you? Oh, thank you. You look good. Thank you. Please follow me. All right. See what I told you. I service. She cannot sit down one place. Pium, 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 pium. <laughs> Why will she help him and carry his bag? Is she the porter? I wonder. She's meant to be at the gate too. Ordinary gate woman. We have to keep an eye out for that mm. gate. We need to. Very soon she become receptionist. You How? Job again. How? Very careful. Hey! Mm. You. Come here. Come. Good day. Good day. Mm. Why is it that you like ice service? Mm. So much. Why? Mm. Eh? You can't talk. Why are you following everybody to their room? Are you the water? I wonder. Is your post not at the gate? Sorry, ma'am. Sorry for yourself. Go back to your post. Thank you. Gate to ma. See ya. I just got off the phone with Noye. Apparently, you did not tell her about your job. <clears throat> yeah, because um, her phone wasn't going through. So I sent her a message and she just responded a few minutes ago. It's not like I knew she wasn't going to come home today. She's not happy. And I'm not either. What kind of job is that? Okay. So, what would you girls have me do? Quit my job? Yes. <laughs> and do what? Stay at home and do nothing? Girlfriend, that is not happening. Hear me out. No, you just want you to go and see you. And we know what will happen. That guy just saw my picture and wants to see me in person. We both know where this is driving to. And I, Lulu, will never ever let that guy see me. What is your problem? This job will pay you three times what the hotel is paying you. Or do you prefer that job to what is coming your way? Yes, at least it's a start. Listen, Sheila, I love the fact that I work in a hotel. I didn't take this job because I love security, whatever. There's something they call alignment in life. Let me ask you a question. How do you feel when people ask you how you got your job? Exactly. There's no way I'm gifting myself to any man in return for a job. If I ever do that, that will kill me for life. So please, let's just pretend we never had this conversation. I'm cooking. I'm not hungry. Lost my appetite. What am I cooking then? Good 
morning, sir. Good morning. I hope you had a great time, sir. Sure, I did. All right, we'll be expecting you next time, sir. Definitely. Who washed my car? Oh, I did, sir. Wow. This is a service that needs to be paid for. Oh, sir, don't worry. No, 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 I do insist. I do insist. Oh, sir, it's okay, sir. I do insist. Have this. Thank you, sir. God bless you. You're welcome. Let me go. So, sir, just let me clean this. Sorry, sir. Sorry, sir. as a security <laughs> you're joking right why why would you do that you make it sound like it's not a job <laughs> what would you rather I do sleep with men especially married men who do not know how to keep to their marital vows but 
there's no but. This is the best I could get. Since I wouldn't use my body as a collateral ever since I got to the city. Anyway, enough of me. Tell me, what are you doing here? I came to see a client of mine. He's lodged here, actually. Oh, yeah. I see. Okay, so Fifi, what are you guys doing here? Oh, Sam. Good to see you, man. Wow. You didn't tell me you guys were coming here today. Come on. <laughs> mm. Oh, 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 you shouldn't be doing this. We're friends. You didn't tell me you guys were coming. Come on, let's go inside. Let's go inside. Why would you allow the legal security guard? Why would you employ her as a security guard? Because we had shortage of staff and she applied. Then we took her. You, you know her? Personally, in school, then, I have never met anyone as principled and honest like her. You wouldn't believe she was one of the best female graduating students. I just wonder why she would settle for a job like this. Guess who I saw today? Who? Kola. That guy is married though. And so? What do you mean by and so? God forbid that that guy will see my panties. Why will I give my body to someone where my brain can easily get me what I want? Why are you being naive? Anyways, what is it about this security job you tested me about? I got a job. Security or not, it's a job. Lulu, let me shock you. This is not your little world where you reign as Miss Integrity. This is a big city, a happening one. You are blind. Let me help you see. It will cost you nothing, absolutely nothing, to sleep with this guy and get the life you need. It will cost me my conscience. Don't you get it? I will never forgive myself. So you prefer this security job to the one where you get to sit in the office? If that's how I have to live with my conscience, yes. You know what? Please, let's not discuss this topic again, okay? Please, be in my room. Do you know where she works? Yep. Oh, she's the least of my problem right now. I've been trying to call Sam, but he's not been picking my calls. Who do you expect? He was here, called you several times, but you did not answer him. So he left angrily. I think he knows that you're seeing other men. And the truth is, he has no feelings for you. That's not true. If he doesn't like me, why would he go the extra mile to get me the job? He went the extra mile because she slept with him. What if the sex was just all he wanted from you? I mean, you said it yourself that he's been acting strangely ever since you started showing signs of wanting to settle down. I, I want him. What if he does not feel the same way about you? What if he sees you as the girl who would do anything you know just to get what she wants? Yeah, good afternoon. Are you retaining? No, I'm checking out. Alright, sir. Um, there's someone. Don't worry, don't worry. 
Okay. Have a nice day, ladies. Sir. Uh -huh. Are you leaving already? Yeah, I was just asking about you. Oh, wow. I hope you enjoy your stay with us. We go Why is your face like this? What is it? Is it not those ladies at the reception? Because the customer gave me a tip, they now went to tell the manager that I begged the customer for money, and that is what I always do. <laughs> hey! Those useless gossips! That is their work. You don't know them. Especially that one that calls herself um, um, Cassie. They talk a lot. Bam, 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 go back. Lulu, please don't allow whatever thing they say or do get at you. Did you hear what I said? But what is their problem? It's okay. I know they have lots of problems. They are problematic. You see me? That is why I mind my business here. I don't talk to them anyhow to avoid embarrassment or an insult. Let me not shock you. Do you know that some of them at that reception, they have been working for this hotel for over 10 years now? Yes! Look at them. There are no changes in their life. They are not moving front, neither are they moving backwards. Because of what? They talk a lot and do just a little. So please, you know I've been here before you came. So mind your business and forget them. I commend you now. You've been doing well. If you're not doing well, I'll be the one to tell you. It's okay. Just brighten up. Brighten. Just enjoy this rice, oh. Enjoy. Just forget them. Did you hear me? brief as possible so that you all can go back to your duty. From now henceforth, I'll be managing my business myself. And that means that if any of you, I mean any of you, are found wanting in any way, you have me to contend with. Do I make myself clear? Yes, yes sir. Very well. You can go back to your duty post. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Thank you. 
I'm telling you, Lulu, this is why it's difficult to trust humans. Who knows? Who knows how much our manager must have embezzled? The things people do for money, Sha. Creed is bad, though. But what can you say? You can't be too sure. What you just said is the kind of statement my cousin is always fond of. She worked in a financial institution, but she had to quit. Why? Because she wasn't hitting target like her colleagues did. Because she had moral values. It's so unfortunate ladies of these days opt for sex that make money the clean way. Honestly. I was just about to say the same thing. Do you know when I came into the city a few months back, my friends got me a good job. I mean, and they said all I needed to do was let a man have his way. And they saw nothing wrong with it. Hmm. That is the problem with the ladies of these days. They don't care. They want to make money the hard way. Wherever they see money, they just grab it. That was why when I now saw a lady like you coming to do this same job with me. Ha! Huh, just look at you. Lulu, look at you. You have it all. You're pretty. You're educated. You have everything a man wants from a lady. But you decided to do the same job. Honestly, uh, you made me have a rethink about life. Because before now, I don't believe there is a lady out there with dignity. But you've proven me wrong. Keep it up. Hmm. <laughs> well, I'm one of the few people that will never sell out their body for money. Lulu. Lulu, listic Lulu. That's why I love you. What? Wow. Not that kind of love. I mean, the love of God. <laughs> that reminds me. Do you know that uh, our guy put up an advert online? Yes, looking for the post of uh, a manager and uh, an accountant. Really, what are the requirements? Uh, BSc in social sciences and uh, any of the management courses. Huh. I have a BSc in hotel management. You do? Yes. Then apply for it. Who knows? Go for it. Congratulations! Miss Lulu Bate. Oh my god, congratulations. What is that? Mm -hmm. Come and see your employment later, babes. <laughs> yes! It's a life. I told you. I told you. Consider yourself. <laughs> it's a life! Hey! Is this a for real? That was why I was calling her. Oh, yes. There's no so fast girlfriend. This is an automatic employment. See, you need to go see him in person and show him some form of appreciation in kind. I don't get. See, Lulu, he's going to be in Hotel de Espana tonight, room 306, okay? Just go there and see him. That's his card. Call him, okay? To do what? What do you mean to do what? Are you, are you a baby? Go and see him and, you know, In case I haven't made my stance on this, let me do it now. I would rather be a cleaner, or better still, a hawker, than let any man see my nakedness before giving me a job. I'm grateful, but I'm sorry. I can't. I'll never be afraid to stand for what is good. I'll never be discouraged no matter what you do. Cause I Can you imagine that? Mm. No, I believe in myself. Give the girl a break now. She's happy doing what she does and is not ready to accept your offer. And I don't see a problem with that. I mean, we just keep going back and forth, you know, with this same thing, and I'm just tired of all the drama. How about? I shall not be one. 
Excuse me. What did you just say? You heard me. What is the difference between prostitution and runs, or hustle as we call it? In the end, it's still the same thing. Sometimes you feel the pressure to belong In a world where the no good is all shades of wrong See, it may not be easy Sometimes it keeps you feeling dizzy When some people can't do anything To keep up with the easy. You know nothing good comes easy If you believe you can achieve it You don't need to go through the back door One step at a time you can make it Never be afraid to stand for what is good Never be discouraged, no matter what you do. Just believe in yourself. Believe in yourself. Miss Bonte. Miss Bonte. Excuse me, please. Um, I'm expecting a delivery. They're perishables. As soon as they come. Get my attention or the manager's attention? Yes, sir. Please, yes, sir. All right? Okay, sir. Good. Lulu, so this is where you work? Yes, this is where I work. You have no shame. Why should I? Is he not a human being? Are they not human beings? He is a man. They are men. Yet we clamor for gender equality. See, listen to me, Lulu. I don't have much to tell you. But listen, you need to quit this shitty job of yours if you still want to be friends with me. Do me a favor. Pretend you don't know me. As a matter of fact, we've never met before, okay? Is everything all right? Um, yes. I was just asking her where I can get recharge cards from. Really? Yes, recharge cards. You could have done that with your app. Buy straight from the bank. That's true. Do you know I totally forgot? Yeah, I forgot. Now, do you girls know each other before? Babe? No. Oh, a female security staff. <laughs> God forbid. No. <laughs> you sound like it's a crime. <laughs> not really, but I'm not just okay. Perhaps surprised that a young lady like this will prefer this job to something bigger, you know? Let's just go, babe. I'll be inside if you come with me. I don't know who you are. What is going on between you and that lady? Do you know her? That's my friend. What? In fact, I stay at her place. And she denied you just like that? <laughs> That's not you for you. Wow. Wow. You mean you stay in the same place with her? Mm-hmm. Wow. Hey! Sorry. Thank you. So like I was saying, as long as the source of livelihood is genuine, then I'm not ashamed of working hard. Um, Lulu, can I ask you a question? Can you date a guy like me? Just look at me. Why not? If there's a connection. And if he likes me and I like him, yeah, I can do it. Do you like me? Because I like you so much. I know it sounds odd, but I, I don't no, even know. Sorry, it doesn't sound <laughs> odd. Eric, I think you're a great guy. And I want you to know that any woman that would have you to herself as her husband will be the luckiest woman in this world. Thank you. Come, come give me a hug. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. You're welcome. So, like I was saying before, um, we started asking this question. Mm -hmm. 
What is it? I got your text. Babe, that girl is so annoying. Calm down. Calm down. That girl is so annoying. What the hell was that? Can you imagine? I couldn't even talk. The shame was too much. Imagine, Sam was even asking me if I know her. So what did he say? I denied her straight up. Hey, good afternoon. What is it? Why the silence? So, what the hell was that, Miss Lulu Bonte? What's the meaning of that? What was what? Oh, cut me the sarcasm. So, of all places, it was Sam's hotel you chose to walk. What is wrong with you? No, yeah, please. I have swallowed too much from you. What is it? Can't you just let me be? You cannot walk there. As a matter of fact, you would send her your resignation letter first thing tomorrow morning. Why? Why is because you cannot walk there. Sam is my friend and I wouldn't have you relegate me to your level. I have class. I have reputation to protect and I wouldn't have you rubbish it. Well, Noe, I am sorry. It is not happening. That's the only job I have and I am enjoying it. Mm. Don't you get it? That job is not just a job. I am learning a lot on hotel daily runnings. So Noe, please, for the last time, let's not discuss this. It's my life and my decision. Then you leave me no choice. I'll never be afraid to stand for what is good. I'll never be discouraged no matter what you do. Ladies and gentlemen, I believe in you're all aware that since our accountant and the manager left us, I've been running the affairs of this company myself. You also know that in the past weeks, we've been collating and receiving applications. We've also interviewed a few, and we've also shortlisted two persons to take over that position. Let's welcome our new accountant, Mr. Hyacinth Ode. Thank you very much, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir, for entrusting that position in me. I You're welcome to the company. <laughs> very well. I am for the post of our manager. I'd like us to welcome no other person but Miss Lulu Bonte. Yes, I know this will come as a surprise to Lulu and the entire team. But you all will agree with me that from the first day Miss Lulu started working in this company, she has diligently carried out her duty as a security person. Notwithstanding that Miss Lulu has a second class degree upper in hotel management and catering, she was ready as at that time to take the only position available, which was security. And she did her duties as a security person like it was the last job on earth for her to do. I have no doubt in my mind that Miss Lulu, with the team that we have here, will take this company to the next level. Miss Lulu, I want to say welcome and congratulations once again. Congratulations. Honestly, Lulu, I am so happy for you. Thank you. <laughs> oh, thanks to you. For what? For all the encouragement and support. <laughs> Come on. It's all you. But you showed me the link, and you made me apply for the job. And now here I am, close to my dreams. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Like I said before, I am so, so happy for you. You know, if I had a degree, I would have uh, qualified for the post of an accountant. But I don't have any degree with me. You can get a degree, though. You know, part-time. And if it's the funds, we can put our heads together. Really? Yeah. Well, uh, maybe I'll give it a thought. I never thought of that. Yeah. Thank you. It's never too late to go back to school. Thank you. <laughs> yes. Hey, Miss Bonte. Come on, you guys. Come, let me give you a ride. Yes, sir. Sir. What? Good afternoon, sir. You're welcome. Good afternoon. <laughs> I know there is light at the end of the 
Afternoon, sir. Thank, Thank you so much. Okay. You are sleeping with Sam. I beg your pardon? Don't beg for it. I know you're crazy in his bed. You know, I had a busy day at work, so um, I want to go and rest. Excuse me. I am talking to you! How dare you walk out on me! No, I am trying not to have a scuffle with you. So please, stop it. Please! Let this go. I don't like the way this is going. Sorry. So, there's a place to take note. Insert uh, a ringtone for a phone ringing. Good morning, sir. Yes, um, I'm okay with that. Um, sir, I think I'm more comfortable um, calling you sir than Sam. Yes. All right, sir, I'm, I'm actually on my way right now. Yes. All right, thank you, sir. Okay, bye. Oh, you look good. <laughs> See you, I'm late. Okay, that's fine, have a great day. And you mean a security officer can afford those clothes? On how much? Not today. Please, don't start. It's too early. Hmm. That perfume still lingers. Does it smell cheap to you? Well, you can blame your sister for upgrading. Hmm. Hmm. And you don't see Sam's hand working it. What am I even saying? I think I'll put an end to this today. Yesterday, she was a security staff. Hey. Today, a manager. What go cannot do does not exist. Though. Good morning, morning ma. ma. Good morning. Please, can I have the records for last month? Yes, ma'am. Okay, um, and the printouts. Thank you. Ah, good morning, sir. Good morning. Ah, you have a nice outfit. Oh, really? Yes. Thank you. All right, please attend to him. Yes. Um, good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good How are you? Fine. Fine. What's your name? Uh, Ferdinand. Dilox. So I went through the records and everything seems to be perfect at my end. Wow. This is beautiful. All the figures came out wonderful. Wonderful. Miss Bunting. Yes, sir. 
allow me to say that you take your time to make everything as beautiful as yourself. <laughs> Thank you, sir. I'll take that as a compliment. You know what, Lulu? I've actually liked you from the first day you walked into this company. Please, allow me to take you out on a date. Um, I'm sorry, sir, but I, I have a fiancé. Not, I can't see any ring that looks like an engagement ring here. Say, Lulu, the fact remains that I like you so much. It's a feeling that I've been fighting silently for a very long time. I really don't want it to look like as if I'm taking, uh, you know, I'd love to. Wait, wait, wait. How long has this been going on? Excuse me? So you can no longer comprehend things. How long have you been chugging her? Excuse me? So this is the reason we couldn't work. She's the reason we couldn't work, right? No, yeah, it's, it's really, it's really, it sounds childish to me that you're bringing her into a decision that we both concluded on that it's not going to work. What's wrong with you? I'll deal with you. I'd rather pray you grow up. What? I just got home. Which documents? I have to sign documents. Can't I sign it tomorrow? Wow, okay, um, meet me up at home, okay? All right, bye bye. What? What are my things doing out here? Oh, so you recognize them as your stuff? Lulu Bonte, since you don't respect boundaries, you can no longer stay here. Why? You really have no shame asking me why. Now let me be straight with you. Of all the men that I introduced you to, you didn't see anyone to sleep with. It's my son. Lulu, you messed with the wrong person. And I promise you, I will make your life miserable. As for that security job of yours, kiss it goodbye. Because prostitution in disguise is what you portray. Now get your dirty things out of my compound immediately. No, yeah, this is not nice, man. It hasn't got into this. Are you stupid. Can't you mind your business? What is your problem? Get your dirty stuff out of my compound immediately. No, no. Can you put up in my own place? Okay. Give me a few minutes. Let me get my bag here. Yeah? I'll never be afraid to stand for what is good I'll never be discouraged no matter what you do Cause I believe in myself mm. I believe in myself yeah. Life can be tricky Like a treadmill you think you're moving But you're really not going anywhere I know Sometimes you feel the pressure to belong In a okay. world where the no good is all Welcome shaking. to my home See it may not be easy Sometimes it keeps you feeling dizzy When some people can do anything to keep up with the easy You know nothing good comes easy If you believe you can achieve it You don't need to go through the Um, um, sorry, I, I have to excuse you ladies you ah, Lulu, remember I have to take these documents to Olga Please, uh, you have to help me sign, uh, sign them Yeah. And finally, 
here. Don't worry, you'll be fine. It's just a phase. And you know what? I am super proud of you. Thank you. You're welcome. So I have to see you tomorrow. Okay? Bye. Yeah, bye bye. <laughs> nice home. Thank you. <laughs> Okay, what? so uh, what was all of that about? Oh. What? Eric is just a very good friend of mine. Friend? Yes, friend. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay, friend, if you say so, yeah. Let's um, take your things in, yeah? Okay. Yeah. I want to see your manager. Where is your manager? Don't tell me to calm down. I said, where is your manager? Calm down, calm down, calm down. So is everything all right? Are you the manager? Yes, I am. Then you have incompetent staff. I mean, my toilet has been dirty since yesterday. And my best friend not changed. I am so sorry, sir. It will be handled right away. Get Peter Rubbish. to clean his room right now. Good morning, Mommy. Yeah, I'm here to see Miss Lulu Bonte. Please have your seat, she's busy. Over there. Mm, okay. That's well, just tell her Sheila is here to see her. Okay. Excuse me, Ma. Our MD is not on seat at the moment. Oh, really? Yes, ma'am. Nonya? What are you doing here? Here to see Lulu, the manager. <laughs> you must be delusional. She likes being the good woman. <laughs> on the contrary, she's not the manager. Wait a minute. How? What do you mean, how? Is she not a graduate? That's impossible! That's impossible! You need to calm down. Do not tell me to calm down. So you knew. I said it. But you said I was making up things in my head. Sam changed the moment Lulu started working there. She started as a security. Now, she's his manager. No, yeah. She applied for the job. Besides, she's qualified. Qualified? Qualified, my ass! Do you know how many qualified people that are out there jobless? Besides, I know Sam. He can't hand her a job just like that. He's not that type of person. Those species of human beings do not exist. She's just a hypocrite. I'll never be afraid to stand for what is good. I'll never be discouraged no matter what you do. Cause I believe in myself. Mm. I believe in myself, yeah. 
it's about time I fix this. I know life can be tricky. Like a treadmill, you think you're moving, but you're really not going anywhere. I know sometimes you feel the pressure to belong in a world where the no good is all shades of wrong. There she goes. Look at you. I knew it. So, this is the reason he promoted you. You're not ashamed of yourself, Sam. Sleeping with this low life. No, you watch your tongue. How ah! dare you? How dare you? Are you mad? Ah! Oh, shit! And you are the one who is mad. So this is the reason I irritate you. After everything. You shameless two inches. You think you are a man. If you men come out, can you stand? As for you, I will break you. You better watch your back. What is it? What is it? Can't you do your job? Why are you looking at me? I'm not done with you. Nonsense. I'll never be afraid to stand for what is good. I'll never be discouraged no matter do you what know you do. Because yes. I believe in myself. She's my friend. We went to the same school together. I believe in myself. She's the one that invited me over. In search of greener pastures. I know life can be tricky. Like a treadmill, you think you're moving, but you're really not going anywhere. I know sometimes you feel the pressure to belong in a world where the Oh, Mr. Sam, good evening. Good evening. Is your friend home? Uh, Sam. Sam, I know you would come. I'm so sorry about today. I'm sorry about what happened. I was actually looking for your friend, Lulu. Oh, she went to her friends. You have no shame? See who's talking about shame? To say the least, you know what? You disgust me. Please. Can I have her address? I am sorry. I'm sorry. What, what's, what's all this about sorry? What, what are you getting at? I, it's not like we had anything or one item. Come on, please, put yourself together. Can I have the address now, please? Why are you overreacting? I said I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Maybe, maybe I didn't communicate to you well before, right? Now, let me make it clear to you. If I ever see you, Anywhere close to my business premises. I'll be sorry. Let me have the address, please. I'll never be afraid to stand for what is good. I'll never be discouraged no matter what you do Cause I believe in myself mm -hmm. I believe in myself You're moving, but you're really not going
So you called for me? Miss Bunty, what's the meaning of all this? A whole 200,000 missing? What's this discrepancy all about? Sir, I reported this to you. You told me to. Why didn't that. you insist that I look into it immediately? Sir, I told you on two Don't you locations. give excuse for your incompetency at all? Listen to me. If in the next 24 hours this money is not found, consider today your last day at work. You hear me? So I'm sorry, but. Don't if you, you dare. Don't, 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 just. Excuse me. What are we going to do? Why are all of these things happening? I think Sam is behind all this. All because of Lulu. Lulu has nothing to do with this. Why are you so blind to see this? It is you who is blind. For God's sake, stop dropping blames at Peter's door. Her boyfriend Eric proposed to her and that has strained her working relationship with Sam. Yeah, you wouldn't know. Because you let what you feel cloud your sense of reasoning. Um, I think I have to apologize to Sam. I don't know about you, but I need this job. I am not going back that road again. How do you intend to survive? The same way Lulu has been surviving. I mean, I can start from somewhere. She's been right all along. I intend to start afresh. Are you leaving me for Lulu? No. I'm leaving you for myself. And I hope when you wake up from your slumber that the sun has not set on you. Come in, Miss Bonte. Sir, um, I tendered in my resignation letter about a month ago. And you still haven't said anything about it. Uh, I'm afraid today is my last day at work. Miss Bonte. Please sit. No, no. I can't accept your resignation letter. What? Look at it. Okay, tell me, what's the reason why you're leaving? Look at it from my own angle. Eric, your boyfriend, said he was leaving to start up his own security company. I allowed it. I haven't given the opportunity to be recruiting for us. And so why do you want to not leave again? Why? Sir, I've noticed that you've not been happy with me. Ever since you found out that Eric and I were an item, and to be honest, things have been a bit awkward here. Listen, Lulu, I understand that I was mad at you and I didn't go about it the right way. Yes. Please, Miss Bonte, I cannot have 
a better and competent person like you. I will not let this happen, please. Please, sir. Lulu. Let me do this favor. In return for so much that you have done for me, I'm going to up your salary up with 100,000 Naira. Please, accept it. South between us, but, but I'm sorry. I'm, I'm sorry. No, yeah. I've been getting all your messages, and the truth is, I have nothing to do with your jobs. As for Kola, I've not been in touch with Kola for a while. And my advice for you is stop allowing men to dictate how you put your shit together. Go ahead and sort your life. That's what I owe you advice. Come on. Hi. What are you doing here? I'm here to see my fiancé. Hey, baby. How are you doing? I said it to you before. Maybe I wasn't quite clear that I do not want to see you close to anything that belongs to me, my property. And I'll say it for the last time. If you know what is good for you, I'll go out and come. By the time I come back, if I meet you here, I'm sure you don't want to see the other side of Sam. Why are you guys doing this to me? Why is everybody leaving me? I, I thought we were friends. No one is doing anything to you, Noye. If there's one thing I'm grateful to God for, it's the fact that I did not take your advice. But as a friend and someone who has your interest, I will advise you, since you love the fashion world, why don't you roll yourself into a fashion school? Align your life in that direction and stop making men detect your life for you. And maybe the world will align in your favor. You know, this helps shape my life and I hope it does the same for you. All you need to be is a believer. I was going to pass by your house the other day. I want to formally invite you to my wedding. I'm having my traditional marriage next month. Yes. <laughs> I'm getting married to him because I love him, because he brings me peace. And just as Sheila, I hope you find love too. Please be our guest. Honey? Like I'll say
spend forever with me. Cause I believe in myself 